Hi, I'm Matthew. I'm a kid at Holland Park State School here in Brisbane. That's right here. I love sports and maths, and I want to share with you my journey to schools in the Northern Territory where I deliver the STEM Fit program. First up, Dr. Charlie, who is my mum, and I flew to Darwin to meet up with Dr. Jim. Jim's going to drive us all the way down to Catherine, then east to the remote Arnhem Land community of Nooka, and back again. But first up, we need to do a bit of sightseeing. What trip to the Northern Territory would be complete without swimming in a famous water hole, feeding some crocs, a spot of fishing, and a search for ancient cave paintings? Anyway, enough of that. This is about bringing science and sport to the outback communities. So unlike my school here in Brisbane, Nooka School was really small, but I had access to technology with computers and internet access. There was only about a hundred kids there, but all way more competitive than the kids I'm used to in Brisbane. Dr. Jim ran the kids through his sports science program, analyzing throwing and running. Dr. Charlie shared her knowledge of how the human body works. The kids surprised Dr. Jim with how good they could throw, and they just loved all of what Dr. Charlie had to say. We got to do an internal hookup with my school back in Brisbane. It was great to share how both classes were really kind of the same. The internet makes them so close, but we're still so far apart. I hope one day these kids could meet face to face. Next stop, the Clyde Fenton Primary School. This one is a bit more like a regular school, but it's still small and they have a dog. I think city schools should learn a thing or two from that. Hashtag get a dog. Anyway, Dr. Jim was on a roll and he got all of his sports science gear out and ran the kids through the throwing and running tests. Jim thought he knew how to throw, but again, it was the local kids teaching us about the art of throwing. Inside, Dr. Charlie pulled out her models and ran classes on how the human body works, and the dog was there too. The kids just love learning the stuff and being able to handle life-size models of the heart and lungs, not real ones, that would be gross. They got to see how they actually work. It was a big trip for me. It even wore Dr. Jim out. There was so much to take in, but we got to see something really unique with these kids and share our love for science and sport. I'm not sure what they think, but I'd love to go back there one day.